one of the most important women in rock history, with a raspy voice who shakes people and makes them move with the sound of the hippie rock blues, and a woman who broke the stereotypes of women in the 60s. Her name is Janis Joplin. She was born in Texas, USA in a Christian family, where racism was more Latin than in the other states. When she was a kid, the kids who knew her loved her physical appearance and specifically fatness. Janice was a girl who didn't have problem with racism of black people. That's why she got the content of some people. At the university, they used to organize prizes to the most diverse areas in which they named Janice as the ugliest man on campus. This led to her starting to meet other weirdos like her, who introduced her to the world of blues, jazz and folk. She went to San Francisco in 1963 and she lived with Jorma Calcon and his wife Margareta, with whom she recorded a homemade tape several blues standards. At this point, she left drugs and alcohol and started a relationship with Peter de Blanc, and they almost get married if it were not for Peter de Blanc, who traveled a lot and he had already used several infidelities. It was during this time of crisis that the promoter and friend of Janice, Chad Helm, became interested in her, a singer of a band that he was the promoting. Then, she begins to sing in several groups, such as Big Brother and the Holding, Cosmic Blues Band, and Full Tilt Boogie Band. When she was in this band, she had gone to many tours throughout the United States and also in Europe, with special mention to the Woodstock Festival, one of the most famous rock concerts in history. At the end of 1969, Janis ended up connecting with the saxophonist Cornelis Nuggy Flowers, who was one of his many toxic relationships that he acquired during two years that same year because of the pressure she got hooked on the airing and began to indulge in interviews in which she ended up talking about her life and her feelings. She said that she made love with a lot of people on stage and then she went home alone. Increasingly depend on alcohol and airing, she was already broken and too hooked on airing and alcohol, so she decided to take a break and leave the band however had become a symbol of strength and rebellion to many women of his time. At the end of that year, the band split up. His last concert was at Madison Square Garden in New York on the night of December 19 and 20 of the year 1916. 